y'all hey. hey i'm Malita. i'm latoya and this is the wine effect thank y'all so much for continuing to tune in week after week when we drop these new episodes keep a new content coming your way please make sure you like comment and subscribe please. so that we will keep this coming your way okay and now i'm gonna turn it to latoya so she can tell you about what we're drinking what we are drinking today is Blended and bottled by Joseph Carr Vintage 2018 mm. called Josh Rosé. So if you like a rosé, we're going to try this for the first time. This was well, gifted. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how we like this. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Now, I want to say, is this dry? It's very dry. It's very, very dry. But uh, for somebody like me, if I don't ever like something, you know what I go look at? Mm -hmm. The alcohol content, 12.5. So you will still be lit, <laughs> but it might not taste the best. It right. just ain't got like no flavor. Yeah, no flavor, yeah. That's what I was None. saying. It, it almost tastes like they just put some in it and some water and put it in a bottle. It was like, blended. And that's just Hold my, on. It was, it was blended and that's just and my bottled. Honest, opinion and maybe i should have brought some strawberries and some raspberries to maybe. pair with it that may have been it may have given it a different we taste. might we might get a little fancy yeah, as we, we may. move forward that's so, true i like that so don't expect us to drink the whole bottle on this episode but yeah. i'm a i'm a sip it which ain't that what they tell the ladies you always sip yeah you sip you don't guzzle you don't guzzle you, you don't sip. go you so, sip. so what are we talking about today so today y'all i feel like i'm TV show ready. All right. I got my questions on a card. Let's do this. So we're going to talk about, we're going to get up to it. Okay. Does your past mold your future? I, I think it does. I, I, I do. Toya, I think it does. Do I you? I think it does. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, what please do you think? comment. Yes, please. please. We want some engagement. Please. So, Latoya says yes. I also say yes. I say yes. I think it plays a lot in various areas of your life. Yep. Work, family. Relationships, relationships yeah friends and significant others because you take those experiences yeah. and they mold pretty much how you act and how you respond going forward yes and if that communication is is not working on both sides then you can really lose what you're trying to work towards yes if there's no communication in yes. your past because your past is what molds you right it, it is it's really what molds that you. is very true and what i've been learning with my life coach shout out to kimberly she has been teaching me that you know consider what we're talking about that you do you have to retrain your brain you have to rewire it let's just say if there's things from the past that were not healthy you know mm -hmm. not so good and you continue to carry that forward with you because it is one of your experiences mm -hmm. and you don't know better until you know better right okay so when you know better you do better then you do better so that's what i'm learning with my life coach i want to know more and do better so i am doing such and it'd be hard but i am doing such okay so we're gonna get into that first question do personal memories determine how you deal with things in the present slash future what, what are you going to say to that i'm gonna say yes i believe that certain memories stick with you mm -hmm. uh, yes you try to think about all the positive memories that you have but the things that i feel like mold you sometimes are the things that was harsh Mm. or the things that mm -hmm. was really put in stone and you constantly heard all the time you look you know i'm a movie watcher so you look at different things like saying that you know growing up you hear you're a loser you're right. a loser right and then you see in a movie that they grow up to be a loser right and then you have some that say no i am not because that one person yes told you that you can be somebody else or do something or anything that you want to do with your life Right. It's up to you and it changes. But if you don't have that person, mm. all you have to go forward are your memories. Right. That's very true. So that that past can set a very like deep rooted foundation. That is very true. That is very true. And I do feel like you can also like on the other hand of it, you can have really positive memories. Mm -hmm. And that will go forward to setting maybe the expectations or the standards. 
so that you don't deal with unhealthy things. That's true. So I feel like that's flip flop. Yes. It's, it goes back to what my mom told me when she was married to my dad. She was like, he was, you know, a good husband, a good partner, a good provider, a good father. And she was like, yes, it's hard not to compare. Like once they did divorce and things happened the way that they did, when she moved on to other relationships, she was asked, why does she compare them to her first husband? That's the only example she had. And it was a good, you know what I'm saying? It was a good example, of course, excluded from how things ended. But overall, she knew what a healthy, you know, partnership looked like. So why wouldn't she base at least some of that going forward? So I, I do feel like it sets the tone. Like it says, if, if a man treats his mother respectfully in the right way, mm -hmm. he will also do that going forward with his his partner and you know what y'all that's a red flag i have seen in past relationships that i did not take heed to but it is true it's true you, you have to pay attention to those type of dynamics true. that's yeah. very true okay so we're gonna go to the next question how do you deal with bad situations in the past that try to impact your present or your future i'm gonna let you take that one okay that is interesting. Um, I would probably say if I wasn't working with a life coach, I feel like this would be a lot harder for me to answer uh, just because I do internalize things and make it seem as though it's something I did. I'm learning though. It's not always something I did and that hurt people hurt people. So they could have been projecting something onto me and not knowing that I'm not responsible for that. I may have taken that on. But I will say now I am learning that if it was unhealthy or it was a bad situation that I need to deal with that issue or get to the root of that issue so that I'm not bringing it forward or bringing it into the future. I'm very much, I will probably say 2020 has taught me to be more self-aware for like of myself and things that I do, whether good or bad. So I think now that that is becoming a little easier for me to do, like to just be completely like, you know, like raw, mm -hmm. honest with yourself and not necessarily having to let somebody in on that, but just being honest with yourself. Now I'm comfortable with that. So now I know if I'm walking into a situation and I'm, I either like respond in a negative way or respond in a way and I'm like, dang, I was just working on that. So I just, I just really think it has to do with, that rewiring of my brain i know now that it's bad and i know that i can i can change that outcome something interesting i told my life coach was i think what i have seen has helped me with working with the life coach is she allows me to see that there's other options if i don't feel like i have another option with the response i just keep responding the same way keep and even if i want to change the way i'm responding but i don't know what else to do far as like how do I respond a different way or how do I get a different outcome so if I don't know I feel like now knowing okay there are other ways to do that then it just completely like erases the fact that I feel like I have to keep doing the same thing now I feel like I can do something different and I can change the trajectory of that okay what would you say for me I think certain situations I shut down I think that's one and of that's them. normal my biggest things is that I'm not always vocal mm -hmm. about things because I like to keep peace. Right. Uh, and I and I have found by doing that, it's because that's what I've seen in the past. Mm. And so I've learned going forward that if you don't tell somebody how you feel, the delivery on how you feel, sometimes it's not the right time mm. To, mm. to talk about whatever's going on because the person won't receive it the way it needs to be received right um, but to wait and be still okay but you have to voice it yeah uh, guys we're not houdinis so we we don't know what the other person is thinking feeling uh just you can take that within the relationship or just outside right you know somebody may do something to you and it triggers you right and it may not have anything to do with that person it's just made what happened to you you know last week mm -hmm. five minutes ago mm -hmm. a second ago uh it's just everything is about delivery yeah. i feel like yeah. but you have to for I'm, i can speak for me i've learned that if i don't voice it mm -hmm. i feel like if i don't put it on the table 
then and, and give it back to the person that I'm talking to right to either fix it change it we work it out together you know things of that nature then nothing you can never move forward in right. anything right I don't care if it's a job that's true I don't care if it's friendship in a relationship married or unmarried if you don't put the situation on the table right and figure it out as a unit mm -hmm. then how do you move forward that's true that means you either want to or you don't want to that's true that's very true and like you're saying i think a lot of the times too shutting down is is a sense of like a safe place yeah that just means okay i'm not gonna deal with it right now i'm not gonna talk about it right now i'm not gonna think about it right now which technically you might not really be able to cut off the thinking part but you at least are not gonna address it if it's you know involving that other person and that's just a safe place it's it's mm -hmm. a sense of protection because i do the same like I can, you know, I just said all of what I said now. I'm still a work in progress. And there no. are still, you know, and there's times when I'm just like, you know what, and see. And I don't want to say nothing else about it. Like, and, and and it couldn't even be the point that the part my partner knows that something is still really wrong, but nothing. Like, I'm just going to pretend like everything's okay because either... You know, you made me feel a certain way and now I'm not feeling like I either want to work it out or maybe, like you said, hit a nerve. It, it could be something I went through in a past relationship and now I'm just like, mm-mm. Like, I'm just not going to address it at all. Forget it. Whatever, you know. And sometimes silence is more powerful mm -hmm. than actually saying something. Listen, if you know me, a thousand words is said with my face than with my words. And I sometimes think that the shutdown for me is where you can read my face. Right. But it's not always right. True. But my face says a thousand words. True. You know Me everything too. just by right here. Right. I ain't got to say nothing yeah. at all. Nothing. nothing. But no, that's true. And I think mm -hmm. I'm learning that too. Because I am a, excuse me, always, oh, you know, let's talk about it, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, sometimes you just have to know, okay, maybe this ain't the time to, to try to tackle the problem. Yeah. Like maybe I need to come back to it when we're calm. Mm -hmm. Or we've had a little more time to think about, you know, what the issue is and what's going on. Something else I learned. Look, y'all, I'll be, I'll be taking some <laughs> gems away from my life coach sessions. So I've learned that a lot of the times when we want to jump, jump ahead and like just tackle the issue, the question I want to ask you is that I have to ask myself, are you really processing your thoughts and your feelings before you start the conversation and you speak? Mm -hmm. I, I literally, after sitting there talking it out with my life coach, thought about it. And I was like, I don't really give myself time to process it. I'm just so quick about, I just want to get it over with because it's uncomfortable. It's uncom the, conf the conflict is uncomfortable. So I just want to get it over and talk about it. But learning, like I said not taking them we're not bringing them bad habits into new relationships so sometimes you just need to sit with it and then have that conversation so it's coming from a loving place as well yeah i agree so we're gonna jump on to the next question okay so do you believe that you can change your pattern of thinking when it comes to dealing just with like maybe unhealthy things that you dealt with in the past and as you move forward can you change those types of things? I think I think if you want to change, you mm. can do anything if you want mm -hmm. to do it. I, I've always been a believer that if something is really important to you, mm -hmm. you'll make it happen. Right. If it's something that's not important to you, then you'll kind of just wave to the side and I'll get to it when I get to it. Right. But better believe if you want to do it, you'll do it. Right. So yes, I believe that First, you have to recognize that it's a problem. Mm. <laughs> First, if you recognize or somebody has talked to you and, and addressed the fact that, okay, this is wrong or this is something that's not right. First, can you take the criticism right. and, and lean it to a positive to correct it? Or do you just say, oh, they don't know what they're talking about? Right. Uh, I just feel like sometimes if you're with somebody for a long time, a friendship, uh, even at work, mm -hmm. I mean, you can have the relationship where you can that tell that person that that's a problem, or they tell me right how you did this is it just wasn't right, right? But don't come to me and address something if you don't have a solution to it. 
Mm. So don't just put it out there that there's a problem. What's the solution to that problem? Now, my friend taught me that okay. for work. Mm -hmm. She told me when you go to somebody with a problem, already have a solution to it. Okay. Shout out to Ooh. Megan Scott. That's she is the person right there, that taught me that. Always have a solution to that problem before yeah. you address it to somebody. But you put it out there. Right. You make sure that you have one, two, and three. A possible solution to right. that one problem. Right. Because See, then you're just putting out there that there's a problem. But then how do we deal with the problem? Right. Yeah. And that's just I for agree. yourself. That's just for some yourself in a relationship. I just feel like, okay, if you're addressing that there's a problem, then this is what we need to do. Or this is what you need to do. But if you start pointing fingers, be ready for those fingers to be pointed right back at you. Ooh, child. And then we get real <laughs> deep, but I'm just saying just, you need to be ready. Right, you right. You got to be ready right. for that. You can always agree to disagree. Yes. But when there's truly a problem, I can tell you I'm real good at placing band-aids on things because I think things are going to change. Mm -hmm. Not wanting to believe that, you know what, it's not going to change. Right. That's true. And I, But I try to stay positive and, and really be like, but they can change if they want to change. Right. But then there's no change. Right. Because they didn't really want Because to. they didn't want to change. Mm-hmm. That is very true. She dropped a lot of gems I in there, y'all. I'm sorry. It just a lot of gems. A lot of gems. But, you know, some of that stuff I'm I'm guilty of, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of. But I'm working on it, y'all. And I'm trying to be self-aware. Uh, but I do. Like she said, I do believe also that you can change it. But like she said, you have to want to. I think a lot of times when it's uncomfortable or maybe you're not the type of person that likes change you're not very adaptive which there's nothing wrong no, with that not. you know you are who you are there's nothing wrong with that absolutely but i do think that that does make it harder to you know maybe grow in relationships or maybe even just grow as an individual if you're not willing to see that sometimes those things are necessary even if it's uncomfortable it's necessary and if you don't take that risk because it's a risk you know it's a risk but you have to take that in order to go to the next level be a better person be a better friend daughter wife girlfriend whatever but yeah i most definitely feel like you can like you said change anything you want that's the key word you have to want to change it because if not it's just gonna stay the same and who's to, who's to say what you could lose out on you could lose out on so yeah, much just because you're unwilling to do something and maybe pride Pride is a good one. And, and not has even a lot the, to do with that. Not even the pride piece. Sometimes you can point your finger and point your finger. And if it's the same situation that come around, sometimes you need to look in the mirror. Mm. Because it may not be that person. That mm -hmm. may be you. Mm -hmm. And so you may want to be giving the advice you're giving to that person. You need to be giving it to yourself. Yes. So sometimes it's not always pointing fingers. It's sometimes just looking in the mirror. Right. And it's always good to start with self before pointing fingers anyway. Yeah. That's I feel true. like as long as I can do everything that I needed to do in whatever situation, then when it's time to turn around and address the situation, then I can say, okay, I've done this. Mm -hmm. You know, when are you going to meet me in the middle? Right. Then if that person don't meet you in the middle, and like I said, this can be any situation, then it's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to get another job. It's time for you to have another friend. It's time. Right. It's just time. It's time for something different. Yeah. It's 2021. That's true. Life is short. Yesterday is not promised. Today is not promised. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is not promised. It's just not promised anymore, and you have to live for today. That is very true, sis. Speak on mm -hmm. it. So that's what we want to talk about. Yes, we know the past can affect your present and your future, but are you allowing it to hold you back? in your present and your future and are you learning from your mistakes from your present past and future we ain't no broken records right over here no mm -hmm. so let's do better let's be better if this these are things that you struggle with as far as being self-aware knowing you know if it's you bringing the issue right. to the table that's a hard pillow pill to swallow it's a hard pill to swallow mm -hmm. but that is an act of courage that is an act of wanting to be a better individual and you know we all need to do that at some point you know learning is is ongoing it's continuous Absolutely. as long as there's breath in your body you never know everything and if you do mm -hmm. come see me so you can teach me please because i i don't know everything and at i'm all. still learning every day right right so 
We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yes, thank you. Do y'all agree? Do you think your past molds your present and your future? And if so, how? Right. Maybe drop a specific example. We'd love to hear those. We would also love to talk about some, some different comments when we come on with a new segment and right. address that before we even get into a new topic. Absolutely. But we're going to make it though. We're going to make, make it, it there. Baby steps. We just, we just letting y'all warm up. That's what it is. We letting y'all warm what, up a little I bit. I think that's what it that's is. That's what it is. Yep, that's, that's what, what it is. is. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into book suggestion of the week. Now, mm -hmm. I know y'all know coming. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. Honey, just started out doing music and he has just done everything that he's wanted to do when it comes to acting uh being a, a, a you know a author writing telling us about his life he's done so many different things and it is very inspiring to see a black man just you know forge forward and do everything that he wants to do yes, mm -hmm. so this is i think his actually second memoir i have read the first one but i can't remember y'all know how i am i'd be watching clips and interviews and all kind of stuff and probably just heard it and went and ordered it but it was a very good memoir as far as reading it from a male's perspective there are some things like that he taught me that i just never considered of course i'm not a man so i don't know how to think like a man and i don't know what that consists of so i would most definitely say if you're just interested in a different perspective and a different narrative and just he also talked about a lot of his faults from his past and how it did mold his present and how he's trying to change it so that it doesn't continue to affect his future. So this is very fitting for the topic today, but it is a great read. It's a short read, y'all. It ain't that big. So if maybe you're looking for something to start with that's not a, a long read, I do suggest coming. Let love have the last word. Okay? Mm -hmm. So y'all support that. What you got, let's see. Okay, so movie. Let me tell you, I watched Unhinged. Now, I actually seen this one. Unhinged is with Russell Crowe. Love him. And you would literally be on your edge of your seat like this. It was a very good movie from beginning to end. I don't want to tell you the movie, but let's just say that be careful what you say to other people. Be careful on your delivery with some people. You never know what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And you never know what will trigger a person. And I'm going to leave you with that on that movie. Go check it out. And it was good, y'all. It was very good. And like she said, there's just so many unexpected twists and turn of yes. events in it. You ain't, you're going to think you know what's going to happen, but you ain't going to know what's going to happen. <laughs> and I believe it's rent or buy on Amazon right now. Yeah. If you do want to uh, you want to rent it and look at it, but unhinged or wait till it comes to release so you can watch it. But it is a good watch. Yes. And if it's you like Russell Crowe, check it out. Yes. It's good. All right. Well, we thank y'all so much for thank tuning you. in for this episode. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please. And we will see y'all next week. Bye. 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 Do it better than us chicks. Ha. We wanna be a better person, woman.